Um, so I actually just wanted to make a quick video. I just went to GNC and health food store that's near me. And I actually just go there every once in a while. I'm um, actually kind of pretty frequently. Um, and I just pick up some things that you can't get at Jewel or Walmart or wherever like your normal grocery stores are at. Um, and basically I just pick up a couple things. I most commonly pick up things like protein powder, protein bars, um, healthy kinds of bread, nut butters, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm basically just going to do a quick run through. I'm sorry this angle is a little weird, um, but I want you to be able to see me while I'm showing you everything that I got. Um, so as always, please make sure you let me know if you have any questions about anything that I show you here in the video. I will list the brands and I will kind of go through uh, like why I buy them, why I use the products, what their, you know, what their benefits are, what they're used for. Um, and as always, let me know if you have any questions. All right, here we go. So uh, first one, I got some Ezekiel bread. Um, this is actually a sprouted grain bread. So um, it's a lot healthier than normal bread. Um, basically, the ingredients are uh, sprouted wheat, um, mostly organic grains, so organic barley, millet, that kind of thing. This is actually a cinnamon raisin variety. This is my favorite one. Um, so one slice, about 80 calories, about 20 carbs, three protein. I like to have this with, I usually spread some nut butter on it, so like natural peanut butter or almond butter. Um, there's, these are also nice to make some French toast with. I will be posting a French toast recipe pretty soon. I actually already have a couple recipes on my uh, social media, so like on my Instagram, on my Facebook. So like I said, this is just like a healthier bread option. Next product is Vans Gluten-Free Waffles. Um, I'm not necessarily gluten intolerant, but it does tend um, to bloat you a little bit, even if you're not intolerant of gluten. Um, so this is actually made with um, Vans Gluten-Free Mix, they call it brown rice flour, potato starch, rice flour, so soy flour, um, and then just a bunch of other ingredients to make waffles, I guess. Um, two waffles, 200 calories, 35 carbs. I usually have one waffle and I'll make it um, just like in a pan or you could even toast it, whatever you want. And this is actually uh, the blueberry flavor. I love this one. This one's my favorite. Um, it also comes in a couple different flavors, just like normal or brown rice flavor, whatever. All right. Next products are Nuts and More. I love this brand. So Nuts and More, I actually got two this time. And my favorite is the Toffee Crunch. This one is actually um, a peanut butter, natural peanut butter. This one is almond butter. Um, but basically what these are, it's nut butter plus protein. Um, so you get more protein than you would from like a normal natural peanut butter. Um, so just real quickly, I'll read you the nutrition facts. Two tablespoons of this one is 180 calories, 10 grams of fat. 11 carbs and 12 protein. So th that's actually pretty comparable to um, this natural peanut butter, except um, this, uh, the nutrition facts for this one are 210 calories, 16 grams of fat compared to uh, 10. Um, the carbs on this one are six. This one's a little bit higher, 11 carbs, but this one has seven grams of protein and this one actually has 12. So as you can see, you get about five more grams of protein Always trying to get that protein in, super, super important if you're trying to maintain um, your lean muscle. Um, obviously, there's other sources of protein out there. Um, so like your, uh, your natural grains, um, your beans, uh, vegetables do have some protein, but nowhere near the amount that you would need to actually build a significant amount of muscle and keep it on. Um, so very important to get that protein. Like I said, um, these are awesome tasting. Uh, so this is just like a natural peanut butter and also is made with some like whey protein isolate, organic flaxseed, um, organic sweeteners, that kind of thing. Um, I actually have not tried this top one, the chocolate almond. So we're going to see how this one is. This one's my favorite. I put this on my waffles, toast, everything. Um, be careful about this. When you weigh it out, you want to make sure that you either measure it or weigh it. The way I like to weigh it best is basically I just zero out my scale. I top or I put this, I put it on the scale, then I zero the scale out, and then I scoop it out, and then basically it just shows you minus. And um, like this, for example, a serving is 34 grams. So I'll basically just 
scoop it out until you reach minus 34 grams, if that makes sense. Um, if you guys need help doing any kind of measuring for food, I can definitely do a video on that. I know that when I started measuring my food, it was really difficult to um, know exactly how to measure things or what is the best way. I know I went through, you know, using cups and this and that, but if you have a scale, it just makes life so much easier. And once you kind of know the amount of things, you can just throw it on and pretty much eyeball it. Um, but for things like meat and uh, nut butters like this, you want to make sure you're pretty accurate because even a little bit extra can be another 100 calories or so. All right, next item. I actually have never tried these, so I'll let you know how I like them. These are um, Quest little sample packets of protein powder. These are nice because obviously they're in packets, so when you're traveling, um, you could take these with you. If you're in a hurry and you don't want to bring your whole jug of protein. Um, I have not tried these, but I've heard great reviews on them. Um, calories, uh, 100 calories, 22 grams of protein. All right, next one is, got some ostrom sticks. This is actually beef and ostrich jerky. And the macros for these are actually pretty awesome. One package is 60 calories, one gram of fat, three carbs, and 10 grams of protein. So these are nice on the go. When you want something a little saltier, um, try to limit sodium as much as you can. There's a huge difference in like Himalayan pink salt is actually what I use on my food versus the processed white salt, white table salt. It's very different, very different makeup and has very different effects on your body and bloating, that kind of thing. All right, next item, we have some protein bars. They actually had a deal, so... You could see I got like eight protein bars. Uh, I definitely don't eat these every day. I try to save these for when I'm in a hurry or when I want something sweet. And um, like if you're going to a movie or something. Um, this is actually the Quest brand. So these are Quest bars. These are my two favorite flavors. This one is s'mores. And then this one is the mint chocolate chunk. These are actually two brand new flavors. And I love these. Um, the macros for these are pretty good. One bar is 190 calories, 9 grams of fat. 20 carbs and 20 protein. I definitely don't recommend eating things like this all the time. Obviously whole foods are more important and definitely have more nutrients as far as, um, you know, just their makeup goes. Um, but you know, supplements like this are awesome, but you know, you don't want to make it a whole, a huge part of your diet, you know, protein shake a day, maybe a protein bar a day, but really no more than that. You want to try to get whole food sources and plus they definitely, um, you know, aren't as filling as normal foods would be. So compared to like a chicken salad versus this would probably give you the same nutrition, but it's smaller. So it fills up your stomach more. I think that's just pretty obvious as far as bulk in your foods and staying full goes. So um, I had a deal. I got eight protein bars. That's pretty awesome. Most of that was the GNC. I actually got these two things at um, a health food store. I'm gonna show you the rest that I got from the health food store. Um, they actually put everything in a box for me because I was not planning on getting everything that I got. All right, so a staple in my husband and I's diet is apple cider vinegar. Um, I actually bought two bottles because we both have a shot of it in the morning, so it kind of goes quickly. Um, so two bottles of these, actually only $12 for two of these, so really not bad compared to what other supplements um, cost nowadays. All right, so I actually have made a post about this on my Facebook already and my Instagram. Um, but basically what this does for your body is it helps balance your pH level. pH level is super important as far as maintaining your overall health. A lot of studies has been, have been done showing that your pH level has a lot to do with um, health and certain health issues. Uh, so just maintaining that healthy pH level is important. Um, you get a lot of that through food if you uh, intake a lot of vegetables as it is, um, but this is awesome just to be able to have a shot of it in the morning. It's also very cleansing for your body, so helps cleanse your liver, cleanse all your organs. Um, it is a little harsh, so if you're not used to taking something so acidic or taking a shot of it, you can mix it with some water and maybe some honey. I really don't care. I kind of just take a shot of it and chase it with water and it's fine. You'll kind of get used to it, um, but it's your preference. Um, but definitely check out the post that I made um, about this on my Facebook. Oh, and it's also awesome for appetite suppressant. It definitely 
has made a difference in my appetite through the day, just as far as not wanting to eat everything that I see in between meals. Um, I definitely think people eat too much in general nowadays. So, um, you know, just because you're hungry doesn't always mean that you need to eat everything. If you had just eaten and you're hungry an hour later, it's not necessarily a good thing to just eat. Um, so obviously make sure you stay hydrated, you know, make sure you're intaking enough water, um, eating a bulk of your foods from natural whole foods. So fruits, vegetables, um, lean meats, of course, um, that kind of thing. But if we can suppress our appetite just a little bit, that is always helpful. All right, next couple products, I got a bunch of kombucha. All right, so um, some of you I'm sure have heard of these and I'm sure a lot of you also have not heard of these. So um, this is actually just one brand of kombucha. It's not just one brand that has made it. Um, you can actually make it on your own. I know a lot of people make their own kombucha. Basically what kombucha is, it's a fermented drink and um, it's pretty similar to apple cider vinegar as far as containing a lot of healthy bacteria. It's acidic, uh, helps cleanse your body. Um, but this brand actually comes in a lot of different flavors and um, can contains probiotics, healthy bacteria, and as you can see, it kind of lists some of the benefits here and it lists some of the benefits on this side. If you'd like to know more about these products in general, um, I will go ahead and list some more or just I can do a whole post on kombucha if you want me to. Um, these are a little bit pricey to uh, purchase as with any other health food. Unfortunately, these days, health food is very expensive. Um, but I don't buy these too often. These, I think, were $2 a bottle or so. But I actually want to get into making my own. If anybody knows how to make it um, in a simple way, not too complicated, I would love to hear that. Um, so these are nice just to be able to drink. Um, throughout the day. They taste awesome. They're um, not carbonated, but they're like naturally um, like fizzy. So they're really yummy just as like something sweet. Um, the nutrition is actually pretty good on here. It's mostly carbs and sugar from, you know, the natural sugars, the natural fruit that they infuse it with. Last two products that I purchased. I've been wanting to try these for a while. Um, these are uh, Zevia. So they're actually uh, naturally sweetened um, carbonated drinks basically so um, this one's actually a great flavor so it's pretty similar to like a pop this is an orange flavor um, bas basically these are just naturally naturally sweetened with I assume they're sweetened with stevia yeah stevia natural sweetener um, so these I'm sure you know you can get these at the store um, sparkling ice is a brand that I really like or you know Diet Coke for example um, but of course you know the natural option is always better as far as sugar-free products go it's easier to consume sugar-free products or you know similar products when you're trying to um, be healthy and when you're trying to diet but of course you know the the less chemicals that we intake the better so try to limit those kind of things as far as like sugar-free gum sugar-free syrups sugar-free um, you know, pops or this and that, because obviously if it's sugar-free, it's a chemical that's making it sweet instead of actual sugar. So I will let you know how I like these guys. And if you guys have any more questions about everything that I bought, please let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. Um, please let me know if you guys want me to do a video on anything else. I will be happy to. All right. See you later, guys.